Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to use 3D Camry in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And in this video, I will show very simple and easy ways for create 3D camera. First of all, we have one background image and bird image and cloud. Let's select this background and drag and drop into the conversation. And back to project, select this bird, again, drag and drop into conversation. And cloud, again, drag and drop here. So in this time, let's right click and new, create new camera. We can choose presets here. I will use 50 millimeters and click OK. Click OK again. And for three layers, select the three layers and click this icon for turn on three layers. If you can see this part, you can click toggle switch mats and click this checkbox. So in this time, let's go to active camera and we can choose first view and here is the 3D space and let's back to top, top view and select this first background and press P let's move to back ok and select this cloud, press P also move to back and layer bird, let's press P and move to back so let's change view to active camera and fit up to 100 and select this background press S and change scale like this then let's close scale settings select cloud press S and change scale like this and bird let's press S change scale and move to left so in this time, select this camera and we can control camera controls with these buttons with orbit button or pan under or dolly. Also, we can press C in keyboard for shortcut. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's back to again first view and move to back. Okay, that's good. So, we can select this background and move to behind a little bit like this. And cloud and bird, let's move to front for z-axis. Okay, and let's back to active camera and select this bird, press S, change scale and move to center and cloud press s change scale and background let's change scale more nice so again press c and let's see deep okay let's press c and move to back like this let's see first view okay and let's select this camera and move to back and go to active camera nice again select this bird press s change scale okay this is enough and background let's change scale for full screen so let's see nice and in this time let's select this camera one and right click go to camera and create orbital for camera control and camera movements and for move to anchor point center Hold Ctrl, double click, pen behind icon. Calculation tool, select this null, press P, and create new person keyframe. And go to 7 seconds, press N for select work area. And right click, choose here work area. And let's zoom to bird like this. Let's see. Okay, we can select first keyframe frame and move to back for speed line animation. Nice, and select this null. Let's press, let's hold shape, press R, open rotation. And create X, Y, Z rotation. Go to last keyframe frame and change X rotation like this. 
and Y rotation and Z rotation. Let's see. Nice. And select this background. Press S. Change scale more. And cloud. Press S. Change scale. And let's see. Nice. So, in this time, let's select this bird and press S. Let's change scale a little bit. And let's press P. Let's create new person keyframe and move to right. Go to last keyframe. Move to left for a little bit animation. Let's see. Nice. And select this cloud layer. Go to FX Presence, search effect tint and choose tint. Let's drag and use for cloud. And map color, let's choose blue and map white also blue okay and select this cloud let's press p and create new passing keyframe let's move to left and go to last keyframe move to right okay that's good and let's finally select this bird layer and go to puppet pin tool let's add one puppet here one here also here for static object and last one here and here let's see and this okay so let's go to middle and move to down this and right wing let's see okay and go to last keyframe Let's again choose puppet here and this move to right and this move to right. Okay, and let's add new puppet here and here. And let's move to left and this move to right. Go to here, move to center and let's keyframe move to left and this move to right let's see okay that's good and for more slow motion select this cloud press p and go to here let's move to left a little bit to slowly background nice And let's select this bird and press U for see active keyframes. And let's choose here deform. And go to middle. Let's choose this middle point. Let's chain like this. And here. Let's select this and move it up. And go to middle like this choose this puppet move to down a little bit and let's keyframe like this okay that's good i like it so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck